Hey everyone, welcome to Logan's Mosh Pig. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Also consider joining my Patreon page for some cool perks. I'll leave a link in the description. James Baldwin once said, People are trapped in history and history are trapped in them. Speaking of history, it's time to discover how we got to now on music history. Throughout each episode of music history, I will tell you about some interesting music events that have happened today, July 21st. In order to prevent this video from getting too long, I'm only going to mention 10 major moments. I put them in chronological order. Let's begin. First, on this day in 1939, Kim Fowley, who founded The Runaways, and went on to collaborate closely with Kiss, Alice Cooper, Frank Zappa, and Beach Boys, took his first breath. On this day in 1955, the future bassist for Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Howie Epstein, entered the world. On this day in 1960, backing up the notion that he was indeed a man of many talents, Elvis Presley fought his way to a first degree black belt in karate. The king continued to practice martial arts during his spare time, eventually earning an eighth degree black belt by 1974. Uh, no one's going to get between me and my peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwiches. On this day in 1969, the Fab Four, the Beatles, began recording Come Together at Abbey Road Studios. Two months later, Come Together appeared as the opening song on their amazing Abbey Road album. A host of other musicians were compelled enough to cover Come Together, including Aerosmith, Michael Jackson, Godsmack, and the Arctic Monkeys. On this day in 1970, the classic Carpenter song Close to You claimed the number one spot on the charts. Of course, The Simpsons showed this song to a whole new generation of fans. On this day in 1972, Corey Pingator, best known as a member of the band Skillet, was born. Corey currently shares half of vocals with her other half husband John Cooper. Happy birthday, Corey. On this day in 1987, Guns N' Roses released their gnarly debut album, Appetite for Destruction, with trailblazing tunes like Welcome to the Jungle, Paradise City, Sweet Child of Mine, My Michelle, and my favorite track, Rocket Queen, Appetite devoured practically everything in its path, selling in excess of 30 million copies worldwide. On this day in 1990, Pink Floyd frontman Roger Waters, surrounded by Van Morrison, Brian Adams, Joni Mitchell, The Scorpions, Cyndi Lauper, among others, made a really symbolic statement when he performed The Wall next to what remained of the Berlin Wall, which was reduced to rubble the year before. On this day in 2002, Gus Dudgeon, a producer who provided assistance to Elton John over the years, died due to a car accident while riding with his wife, Sheila. Rest in peace to both of them. Last but not least, on this day in 2004, juggernaut composer Jerry Goldstein passed away at age 75 following a cancer battle. His marvelous music can be heard throughout classic films such as the Star Trek series and Planet of the Apes. Rest in peace, Jerry. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing that occurred on July 21st? Let me know in the comments. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my supporters on Patreon, Matt and Stacy from Canada. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.